recently UGC launched a new website in the name of Malavia Mission Studies Training Program. The main objectives of this particular platform to provide a training program to sensitize the NEP. Now I am going to discussing about how to register this portal. After registering, how to enroll the programs which is organized by the different MMTTC centers. So for reaching this site, we have to Google it mmc.ugc.ac.in. Once reached, we can find this kind of interface. There we have the home options. The home, they are given all the background objectives, proposed outcome, these are things they are discussing. And they are highlighting the NEP orientation program themes. There is a eight thing they are suggesting. In this theme based only, all the programs are going to be organized through, uh, in the, through the MMTTC centers. And if you like to explore about us, you can click about us, so you can understand uh, about us and background objectives and proposed outcomes of the program. And if you like to know the different centers which is available under the MMTTC center, if you click the centers, we can find out all the centers here. And even if you like to explore the different state wise, also is possible. So if you go with each page, you can explore the things. If you like to see this brochure, if you click in the brochure, you can see this brochure like this. In this, we can find all the details related to the MMTTC. And the main thing, if you go to the ninth page, you can explore the things. The program delivery, the NEP Orientation Sensory Program will be conducted by 111 MMTT centers. It's fully online mode. The main target to give the 15 lakh faculty members to train that in the program like NEP orientation sensitization within a three years period. This is the main objectives of them. And this is here eight things it is identified as part of the course. These are the eight things they identify. And now I just moving how to go for a registrations. For registering this particular portal, we have to click the register options. Once you click the register, it asking our personal name, name we have to give our mobile number, email address, and gender, address, district, PIN code. And finally, we have to highlight our institution address where we are working, like which state we are blanks to, university, institution name, and we can right click this destination also. Then we have to type the CAPTCHA after we have to submit it. So this is a way we have to create a registration. Once you create a registration, in your mail ID, we may get your notifications. The mobile number, we have to give this like this, and the address and the designations, all things we have to provide like this. And after that, I'm just giving the Central University of Kerala, where I'm working. And the institution name also the same Central University of Kerala, then 996B. So this kind of CAPTCHA we have to provide. And then click Submit. Once you click Submit, it leaves the next page, it goes to the Sending. And login did you have to send to this mail ID tiagocuk.gmail.com. Like this, you may get your notifications. You can go to your email, there you can get your password as well as the username. The username, nothing at the mail ID only. After this, you can come back, come back, then go to once again the home page of this site. If you go to the home page, if you go to the home page, so the password. You may be get in your mail ID. There you can copy this password or you can you can note the password. After that, go to the login because we already created a registration. We already finished the creation process. Then we can go to the login. In the login, it asking the email. So here we have to give this the mail ID which you given previously that you have to give it. Then password. The password which you receive from your webs, uh, from your mail, you have to give it. So here I'm just giving my password. Then after this, give this captcha. Then click login. Suppose you forget the password, you can click the forget the password. You can create a new password. And all. Yeah. Now I reach the our user interface. So once you log in, you can find out there's a user interface. Here, these are the options of the like dashboard. So in the dashboard, we can know how many number of 
programs we enroll how many number of programs we finish everything we can find out from here if you like to modify your profile you can click the profile you can give the details of your profile suppose you like to add your photos and if you like to give your employment id for uploading you have to do this is the things if you need to do you can do this it's not compulsions they have to be update your profile because what is the advantage when you upload update your profile when once you finish the course if you like to get a certificate based on your profile only they give the certificates better to be update your profile and if you want to apply the training program if you click this apply for training we can find out here this kind of interface there there's a three options we like to search the program in the center based suppose if you like to know the centers if you like to enroll the program or join the program based on the uh, centers then you can find out this option otherwise if you know if you want to enroll the course based on the month so the month which you free that month you like to be enrolled you can find out the program through the month base so suppose i click the october if you click search you can find out all the month or all the october month uh, uh, programs details so instead of that you want to see the program which is uh, cut by the different states suppose like to find out the kerala based program if i click the kerala i can find out the kerala based program after clicking this kerala you can click this uh, search we can find out the kerala based program in the month of october the central university of kerala so this uh, program is organized by central university of kerala the date is 19 10 2023 to 13 1st 10 2023 if you like to participate in the program if you click the participate there may be one pop-up window it is asking you want to be participating in the training program of the center then click yes once you click the yes it gives a success pop-up window it seems that the training program has been saved and if you click ok you can be able to find out the registered programs now so the participated training list it is available here then after after selecting this program because at a stretch we have to be joined only one program only you cannot try with two three programs at a stretch so one time you have to be join only one program then after this you have to go for a payment so for this payment if you click this payment option here then you can find out the center name the center university of kerala because i enrolled the course in the center university of kerala only there is an amount you can click the make payment then it asking you want to pay the training program on the center if it yes you can click the yes once you click the yes it moves to the the interface of the payment there it we have the different options like a card payment upa payment scan qr payment or net banking payment as well as the cash others payment like this we have the different payments options are there so the payment which you prefer you can do the payment once the payments done we can find out the the program and the payment details in this options then after if you click this my training you can find out this the training schedules as well as the the each the program things you might find there you have to be click and join this each day's activity and if you like to give this feedback of the programs click this feedback and give this feedback of the program suppose you want to get the learning resources after completing your program so if you like to get a learning resource if you go to the learning resources interface then if you like to get this indian knowledge system or holistic kindly select it based on the selection you may get these resources so these resources you may get once you, the program started only and if you want to know the program which enrolled click this dashboard you can see the dashboard so this way we have to be enroll the program to the different um, mmt tc centers then after this if you feel to be change the password the password which you get it through the mail you can go to the change password option and change the password then if you like to get some kind of user manual you can click this user manual or participant you can get the user manual after this if you want to log out click the log out option to log out from this interface if you click the log out i can come from this interface user interface this way we have to be registered as well as we have to be enter the program hope this video might be useful for you i request all to share to the all the academicians because the, this video it will be very helpful for, to the people those need to be do a lot of programs under this mmt tc Thank you so much. We will meet in the next video.